everybody, it's a new week, a new week at university, it's full on this week, I'm in four days, pretty much most of those days, so I'm no longer a proper student with days off, <laughs> that's a joke, don't get offended, um, I've got a full day, I'm in ten to half six, but do you know what, guess what day it is, it's module launch day! It's the module launch for Nurse in Practice 3. I'm so excited. I love these module launches and it means we're gonna have anatomy and physiology exam. So it's gonna be all of our lectures getting us prepared for the exam. There's an exam, it's coming and I've got to revise, which means new flashcards. Who's excited for flashcards? I'm excited for flashcards. So yeah, so I'm on the way to the bus station now. Gonna get there early, hopefully. Hopefully there's not gonna to be too much Monday traffic today. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, the sun's shining again. Just arrived at uni. It's gonna be a great day. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? I'm home. Oh my God, it's so hot outside. I think today is probably the hottest day of the year possibly. I don't even know what temperature it is, but I know I'm sweating. So this week, I'm just gonna talk you through what we've done so far this week. So Monday and Tuesday, we had our module launch, which I was really excited about. And we've got three case studies again. If you remember from our last module, we had three case studies. So it's three different patients and we have to manage their conditions. So our first case study has been launched. We have our patient, Adam, and he has got diabetes and diabetes type 1 and he is in DKA so we've got to manage that and it's all about the holistic care it's not just how we're going to deal with that it's all about his psychological um, emotional spiritual social you know all the different networks and communications and things like that so it's a lot of information I think that we're gonna have to have for each patient but it's going to be a lot more focused around nursing assessments by the sound of it which is really good because I love nursing assessments and I love that you know not just mental assessment of a patient as you're walking up to a patient you're visually assessing them and listening for sounds and things like that but the assessment tools that we use are just our own gut as well, our gut, our brain, our heart, as well as our knowledge base on conditions and symptoms. So I love all of that. Like that's proper nursing to me. That is proper nursing. And what else have we got? Oh, we did maths. So we had our maths tutorial. Oh my God. I know I said to you last week, I was absolutely dreading maths. And I said, if I'm going to fail anything, it's going to be maths because I'm terrible at it. After this session, I feel calm. I don't know, who'd have thought? He went through um, different ways of working out drug calculations and body weight percentages. So if a person loses weight, how to work out the percentage of the body mass that they've lost. So how to work those things out and he gave us a really good equation to work it out. And on the online, we had a practice exam that we could do. I did that before I did any revision, I did that before I went into the class, everything, and I got 8.5 out of 10, and I only need eight to pass, so I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, maybe it's not gonna be as bad as I thought. As long as I just take my time, look at the question, reread the question, reread all of my answers, and just make sure I've done everything correct, I think I'm gonna be okay. Fingers crossed, anyway. So that's what I've done so far, and then tomorrow's our poster submission. Oh, I know officially our poster submission is Friday, but none of us are in on Friday, and we all wanted to sit together and do it together as a team. So that's what we're going to have to look forward to tomorrow. And I'm excited. I'm excited but nervous because I'm thinking, what if we've done it wrong? What? Just oh. I'm sure I haven't. None of us have done this wrong. It's going to be good. It's going to be okay but I am nervous for it. I'm sure we're all very nervous for it. I just can't wait. I can't wait to submit it now and just get it over and done with. And one less thing now to be done. And then I can just concentrate on my assignments. So that's what I've got to look forward to tomorrow. And we have got the NHS tea party. So tomorrow is this big 70. NHS is 70 tomorrow. And I can't wait. 
so we've got a tea party at university i'm gonna do some vlogging from the tea party hopefully it's gonna be amazing and hopefully loads of people are gonna show up because is there any just big 70 come on i can't wait and so i'll see you all tomorrow i'll show you how that goes fingers crossed the poster submission goes well but for now i'm gonna have a cold shower see you later <laughs> we're submitting our poster <laughs> Okay. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Add in the poster. <laughs> there it is. Ready. Oh, I think I'm how do you? How do you? How do you? Ready. Have you done it? Have you done it? Are you ready? One, two, three, go. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Submitted. Oh, oh no, you have to press it again. <laughs> Submit a Submit a Oh my god, there's so many tick boxes. Okay, continue. Okay, oh, that's it, it's done. Have you submitted for yes, I have. Oh, did you take the box? Yeah. Well done, everyone. So I am in my bank shift. I'm on my bank shift today, 12 till 7. I absolutely love working. It's amazing. So I've got a bank shift today, got bank shift tomorrow, and then I'm off on Sunday. And the one thing that I love about this place is oh, I've been here four years, so it's beautiful to come back and see everybody. Some of these people I haven't seen since before Christmas. So it's really nice to catch up with everyone and just get a big hug off everyone. It's great. And I just I love it and I'm really excited for the rest of the day. So I hope everyone's having a great Sunday and just embrace the day and enjoy the sunshine we're having. See you next week.